Aesop Stories. Number 41. The Donkey and the Small Dog. In a big house in the country, there lived a man with two animals, a donkey and a small fluffy dog. The dog was very small and cute. The man loved the dog very much. The dog could do tricks, like jumping and rolling over. After dinner, the man always gave the dog some tasty food from his plate. The donkey lived outside in a stable. He had lots of hay and oats to eat, which is good food for donkeys. But the donkey worked hard every day. He turned the mill to grind corn. He carried heavy wood from the forest. He also brought things from the farm. The donkey was very tired. He saw the small dog playing and being lazy. The dog did no work, but got lots of love and treats. The donkey thought, I work hard, but the dog has an easy life. I want to be like the dog. One day, the donkey decided to go into the house. He broke free from his stable and ran inside. He tried to be like the dog. He jumped around. He tried to be cute. But the donkey was big. He knocked over a table. Plates and cups crashed to the floor. The donkey tried to lick the man's face. He tried to jump on the man's back. But the man was scared. The donkey was too big and strong. The servants heard the noise. They ran to the room. They saw the donkey and were shocked. They pushed the donkey out of the house. They hit him and said, Go back to your stable. The donkey was very sad. He had cuts and bruises. He walked slowly back to his stable. He thought about what happened. The donkey said to himself, This is my fault. I should not have tried to be like the dog. I am a donkey, not a dog. I should work, not be lazy. The donkey learned a lesson. He could not be something he was not. He was good at being a donkey. He should not try to be a dog. The donkey went back to his work. He was happy again. He was the best donkey he could be. Number 42. The Mother Lion In a wild green forest, the animals had a big question. Who has the most babies at one time? They asked each other. The rabbit said, we do. The frog said, no, we do. All the animals argued. They could not decide who was right. So they went to see the mother lion. She was strong and brave. She was the queen of the forest. The animals thought she could help them. They found the mother lion under a big tree. Mother lion, they said, we have a question. Who has the most babies at one time? The mother lion looked at all the animals. They were waiting for her answer. She smiled and said, I have only one baby each time. The animals were surprised. Just one? They asked. They thought having more babies was better. The mother lion said, Yes, just one. But my baby is a strong lion. He is brave and powerful. He is worth a lot. The animals thought about this. The mother lion had only one baby, but he was very special. Then they understood. It's not important how many babies you have. What's important is how special they are. One great lion is better than many babies who are not strong. The animals stopped arguing. They all agreed with the mother lion. Having one special baby is a good thing, and the animals learn something important. The worth of something is not in how many there are, but in how good it is. Number 43. The Man Who Loved to Tell Tales Once there was a man who liked to travel. He went to many countries and saw many things. When he came back to his home, he liked to talk about his adventures. He told everyone he was a hero in other lands. One day he stood in the town square. Many people came to listen to his stories. The man told them, I am the best at jumping. When I was in Rhodes, I jumped so far. No one else could jump like me. The people in the square listened. The man said, In Rhodes, many people saw me. They can tell you it's true. One man in the crowd was very smart. He did not believe the traveler's big stories. He said, if you can jump so far, you don't need people from Rhodes. Show us. Jump right here, right now. The boasting traveler was stuck. 
He knew he could not jump as far as he said. He looked at the people waiting. He knew he had to tell the truth. The man learned that it's not good to tell stories that are not true. It's better to be honest about what you can do. Number 44. The Woodcutter and His Wish In a small village, there was an old man. He worked as a woodcutter. Every day he went to the forest to cut wood. He tied the wood into big bundles and carried them to the city to sell. It was hard work, especially for an old man. One hot day, the old man had a very heavy bundle of wood. He walked a long way to the city. The sun was hot, and the bundle was heavy. The old man was very tired. Finally, he could not walk anymore. He sat down by the side of the road. He put down his bundle of wood. He was so tired and unhappy. I wish I could stop working, he thought. I wish I didn't have to carry this heavy wood anymore. Then he had an idea. I will call death, he said. Maybe death will help me. So the old man called out, Death, come to me. Suddenly death appeared. Death was tall and dark. He said, Why did you call me? The old man was surprised to see death. He was scared, too. He said quickly, I need help with my bundle of wood. Can you put it on my back again? Death smiled a little. He picked up the bundle of wood and put it on the old man's back. The old man stood up. He carried his bundle of wood to the city. He sold the wood and made some money. On his way home, the old man thought about what happened. He realized he did not really want to stop working. He was just very tired. He decided he would be more careful with his wishes, and he would not call death again unless he really needed him. The old man kept working as a woodcutter. He was careful to not carry too much wood at one time, and he never forgot the day he met death on the road. Number 45. The Little Pig, the Sheep, and the Goat. In a small farm, there were three friends, a little pig, a sheep, and a goat. They lived together in a yard. The sheep had soft wool, and the goat had warm milk. The little pig had pink skin and a happy oink. One day the farmer came to the yard. He needed something from each friend. He took some wool from the sheep. The sheep stayed quiet. Then he milked the goat. The goat did not make a sound. But when the farmer took the little pig, the pig squealed. He grunted and wiggled. He did not want to go with the farmer. The sheep and the goat were not happy. They said to the pig, The farmer takes from us, but we don't cry. Why do you make so much noise? The little pig stopped and looked at his friends. He said, When the farmer takes your wool and milk, you are still fine. But when he takes me, it is not for something small. It is for everything I have. The sheep and the goat thought about what the pig said. They understood that the pig was scared. The farmer took small things from them, but he took the pig for a bigger reason. The friends learned that they had different lives on the farm. They promised to be kind to each other no matter what.